Welcome to Tool Time Review. This is your boy Rick. In today's video, we got the 12 volt Dewalt power drill versus the Milwaukee 12 volt power drill. So let's get this show started. So for $99 guys with the Dewalt 12 volt, this is what you get. You get a pretty cool carrying case. You get a battery clip. You get a belt clip, I mean. You guys know I love those because there's nothing cool about getting hit in the head with a drill, no matter how much it weighs. So the Dewalt has two speeds and 1500 RPMs, LED light. It's got a 3 8 clutch. Also like that it comes with a three year warranty. So that's definitely a plus right there. It's also a lithium ion battery and it comes with two batteries. So if you lose one or if you run out of one, you got the other one ready to go. And it comes with a charger as well. The Milwaukee model number 2407-22 comes with a LED light and a battery indicator, which is pretty cool because it indicates when you're running low. That's not standard on all these 12 volt drills. So it's actually a pretty neat feature. This bad boy's got a pretty cool belt clip, which I love having belt clips. It comes with two speeds and over 21 different clutch positions, so it's actually, it's got a lot of different options on it. It comes with two batteries and a charger, and also probably the coolest carrying case I've seen for a 12 volt drill. It also comes with, the, which I find pretty cool, five year warranty on the actual tool. Now, it comes with a two year warranty on the charger and the batteries, but overall the drill comes with a five year warranty, which is actually pretty damn good. The DeWalt drill comes in at two pounds, seven ounces. The Milwaukee comes in at two pounds and nine ounces. All right guys, so you guys just saw the showdown between DeWalt and Milwaukee. You guys saw the battery test, you guys saw the weight test, and then you saw the performance test. So the DeWalt came in at 2.7 ounces of weight and the Milwaukee came in at 2.9 ounces. So roughly about two ounces difference, not too much of a difference. So they feel pretty good, about the same actually when you, when you hold them. So the battery life on the DeWalt lasted 22 minutes while the battery life on the Milwaukee lasted 30 minutes, roughly about a third more of the time for the Milwaukee, so it's definitely pretty significant. Now let's talk about price. 100 bucks for the Dewalt, whereas for the Milwaukee, you're gonna end up paying about 129 bucks. So it's about a $30 difference there. So, you know, not too much, but there is a difference. So the Dewalt and the Milwaukee. Well, they both come with a, a carrying case. Well, Milwaukee comes with a pretty cool carrying case, probably the coolest one I've seen around. It's pretty sturdy. You're not gonna break this. It's gonna last you a long time. It's got clips. Put everything away. Well, uh, the D wall comes with a bag. It's actually pretty cool in itself. This might tear over time, but you know, it depends on uh, what you use it for. They both come with a charger and two batteries each. The chargers are Milwaukee's charger is a little bit larger than the D wall, but nonetheless, they seem like they're both pretty sturdy. All right, so both the drills come with the LED light. Like I said, these are pretty much standard nowadays in mo most of the drills. LED light's always cool to have if you're working in dark spots. Dark places, no light, no power, whatever. Two speeds on both these bad boys. And also it's a 3 8 chuck. I like the grip a little bit better, honestly, on the Dewalt. It feels because of the way the battery is underneath it that it just holds a lot firmer and it feels like it's not gonna slip out. Um, as opposed to the Milwaukee's more of a, like a gun. I feels like it'll slip, it could, it could slip out of your hand, but I feel a little more sturdiness with the way the setup is on the Dewalt. What I do like about the Milwaukee is that it has like a casing, a steel casing on the part up front up here where the chuck is at on the sleeve as where the Dewalt feels a little more, uh, pla it is plastic actually, feels a lot like it'll break easier. It doesn't feel as tough. Like if you drop it, you might crack this. There's one thing I did notice about it. But other than that, I mean, 130 bucks, 100 bucks this feels to me more rugged it'll get you further out in the field um, milwaukee's a really good reputable brand with a lot of like larger construction but uh i've actually don't own the older model of this dewall of 12 volt as well and it's lasted me about 12 years the batteries actually finally gave out but i've never had any issues with anything around the house and small jobs here and there for friends and family 
but uh, it just depends on your application. For the house, I think this is really great. You're gonna do more stuff out in the field. This definitely feels a lot more sturdy and rugged and I'd definitely go with the Milwaukee, in my opinion. So when it comes down to warranty, the D-Wall comes with a three-year warranty, which is actually pretty good. For a hundred bucks, you get three-year warranty. But I really like the warranty with the Milwaukee and I'll tell you why. It comes with a five-year warranty. That's, I mean, five years, man. I, I could probably break this thing within the five years. Five years on the tool and it comes with a two-year warranty on the batteries. I don't think you can beat that. That's a really, really good deal. And I'm gonna go with the warranty advantage going towards the Milwaukee. So when it comes down to which one I think is the best, whether it's the Milwaukee 12 volt or the DeWalt 12 volt, I think I'm paying the extra 30 bucks and I'm going with the five year warranty on the tool, two years on the battery, and I'm going with the Milwaukee. Although I don't like the way this sits in my hand as much as the DeWalt, I think this sits a lot more sturdier. I know that Milwaukee out in the field is known a little bit better and it's also used on commercial jobs. So I think this is gonna outlast the D-Wall. D-Wall is more of a, I think, a lighter construction or more of a higher end do it yourself at home type of tool. And it's also a three year warranty. So I think in this case, I'm taking the Milwaukee. But I mean, what do you guys think? Would you guys take the Milwaukee? Would you guys take the D-Wall? You know, go ahead and give us your comment, your reviews on, on the tools you have if you guys own a DeWalt or a Milwaukee. And uh, go ahead and chime in and let us know what you think. So there you guys have it. That was the DeWalt versus the Milwaukee. Let us know what you guys think. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to keep seeing more videos. Go ahead and hit the like button a couple times if you guys like it somewhere down here. And if you guys have any comments, go ahead and drop a line. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll like to see what you guys have to say and we'll go ahead and uh, give you guys some feedback, give us some feedback and uh, catch you guys on the next video.